Okay, uh, welcome back to another video on Affinity Photo. This time we're going to be looking at um, shape overlays. So a dark overlay or a light overlay or a colour overlay, but essentially using the shape tool or more specifically here on the left hand side, the rectangle shape tool, um, because our pictures tend to be of a rectangular nature. So that's the best shape to use, although in theory you can use obviously any of the shapes. So first of all, click on the um, shape tool and we've got an image here that uh, we'll work with and you just click on the outside of the image. So you want the actual shape to completely fill or obscure the image. So if you look on the right hand side, we've got the underneath layer and we've got the shape um, uh, uh, um, rectangle that's drawn right over the top of it and it's got a solid colour in at the moment. So this is where we need to make some adjustments and amendments to suit our image. So first let's put a, a light coloured overlay over it. So what we want the, the colour to be is um, We just want uh, the color to be um, white, okay? So just a plain white color. And clearly we don't want a stroke, we don't want an edge to it, so just the color we want. Think of it like a colored filter. And we just want to bring the opacity down. So we don't want a solid color. By bringing the opacity down of the overlay, so we can say, give it a bit of a misty feel to it, so say about there. So again, if we just disable that new layer, that's the original with the full color, and that's got a, a sort of a misty layer over it. And again, depending on the image, it might work better with um, an image early morning with a lot of mist on it and to exaggerate it. But if we put that on, let's say we want to make some local adjustments on that. As long as that layer is selected, we could go to the eraser tool on the left hand side here. This is just one example choose an appropriate type of a razor brush so let's say a soft edged uh, brush and uh, make sure that it's um the brush size is appropriate say about that size and then just change the uh, we don't want it as a hard edge we want it as soft edge as possible so zero hardness it means that the edges are feathered and um, try not to use full opacity bring it down say about 60 percent so you've got an option to add and build the erasing actions. If I just wanted to erase that light effect of that overlay in the um, ground here, which is quite dark, I can then obviously just use the mouse to paint um, slowly over, and you'd obviously do it with a bit more care um, and time to get the edge just right, but you can then just essentially erase out or paint back in the original effect of the ground in the, the foreground which was quite dark and you might want to say well I don't want that mist to be visible there but you do want it to be in the sky and I could go in and do the the little building there as well if I wanted to so let's just show you it's actually created a mask if I show you the effect that's the original image that's the image with the overlay and that's the image without the uh, erasing of the bottom and if you do it on and off like that, you can actually see that you might want to just fine tune it and obviously zoom in as well and fine tune it near the edge and get it right to the way you want it. So before and after and before and after. OK, so that's using the light. So let's just delete that layer. And go back to the shape tool again put another shape over it now it's obviously remembered the last time that we did it so we want to go in and change that so this time we want not a light color but a dark color so we put it as black that's the full opacity so it's just a black rectangle on top but we want to maybe make the image a bit moody a bit darker so let's just say there so again We've added a new layer there. If I just disable that, that's the original. That's the new dark layer, which is semi-transparent um, on top of it. And again, we can do some local erasing, use the erase tool. 
we use the same brush that's uh, worked fine before um, I might want to increase the size of that brush again and just use the square bracket key uh, as a quick keyboard shortcut to change the size of any of your tools or brushes and I might want to just brighten the sun here again opacity um, I want it to be say about 50 percent just means that you don't get any um, harsh edges and I could just paint loosely around where I want to bring the original intensity of the color back maybe and I might even want to sort of just paint along this line and then see as before revealing the color underneath of the sun and of course before we put that overlay on okay so that's two different ways of creating some extra mood to your image either lighten the whole image and then selectively erase or darken the whole image and selectively erase using a mask um, uh, that's created automatically when you're using affinity photo the third uh, 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 application of such a technique I want to show you is a colored filter so here's an image which has got a little bit of um, uh, brown um, I wouldn't say golden brown but a little bit of brown in it and again if I click on overlay um, uh, rectangle overlay I put a rectangle shape over it but this time of course I don't want it to be white or dark uh, because of the nature of the image I want it to be a different color so perhaps if I choose a sort of a golden color um, there. if it's on another color you just move the color wheel around and just choose the the one that you want and the intensity that you want and let's say we're happy with that um just move that down a little bit but of course it's put it all over it so one of the things you can try and do is just select that top layer and say i don't want the blend mode to be normal i.e the top layer sort of obscures the the layer underneath um, I want to blend them differently. So you can try these different blend modes over the two layers blend with each other, but it tends to work that if you use screen, it tends to reveal the lighter colors underneath, but with, with by retaining the color that you've added to the darker areas, if you see that. It does affect the lighter areas, but not as much. Um, and again, you can experiment with that by putting a colored overlay but just by using the rectangle tool and of course there's the permutations are endless um, you can uh, choose to um, even um, um, uh, select this layer here and change the opacity from here further change it to make it subtle if you want it to but doing it uh, the original way is just as good um, in the actual um, uh, rectangle option here where you're changing the um, the opacity there okay so there's two different ways of doing it. hope you found that useful three different uses of the rectangle shape tool uh, to add um, a different mood or color or brightness and darkness to an image thank you very much